Hi there, Scott Ryan here. And if you have it in your mind that you want to have someone come out and take a look to see if you've got aluminum wiring in your home, uh, then I have just the guys for you. Uh, the first thing about getting the proper electricians and dealing with aluminum wiring is you have to deal with someone who knows what they're talking about, someone who's worked with aluminum wiring. Aluminum wiring connections are nothing to be messed with. There are electricians out there that think, ah, this is a good little business I can get into. I think I'm going to go out and, and just kind of figure out how to do it, and then I'm going to go get people to take me on. Well, unfortunately, a lot of people have a tendency to think that what one electrician can do, all the others can do as well, so now it's a matter of just finding the cheapest one, right? Well, this isn't the case with aluminum wiring, and the reason being is because aluminum wiring has to be repaired correctly. Now once it is repaired correctly, there is no problems with it down the road. None whatsoever. As a matter of fact, I have a, a couple of companies that I vetted that have a, a 25 year, uh, which is essentially a lifetime guarantee on their work. And the reason why they can do it is because they're confident in their work and of course they do it right. And they do it right according to Dr. Ehrenstein, one of the top uh, engineering and uh, scientists that has worked on and studied aluminum wiring connections over the decade and has no affiliate with any connections or with me or with any electrician whatsoever. He just did these studies as a result of U.S. government employing him back way back starting in 1982 all the way through up into the present to keep on studying these connections and find out which connectors are the best ones to use. And the best ones to use as far as he's concerned uh, that has a balance of uh, expense and of working well as a permanent connection are what are called alumicons. Now, as I said, you've got to have the right electricians to do it, but there's some other things. And so you want to find out if they, if they do know what they're doing. And one of the questions you can ask them right out of the chute that will get you at least in the right direction is, do you use alumicons? If they say, no, I use the twist-on connectors, those are just perfectly fine. Or if they're trying to up you and upsell you and say, well, no, none of those connectors work okay, you have to replace it, the, the aluminum wiring in your house, with copper wiring. That type of uh, an upsell is completely unnecessary and very, very expensive. Uh, I've seen ranging anywhere from $15,000 to $20,000. So certainly if you've got someone out there selling it for you know, under $10,000 or under $5,000, you're not dealing with somebody who knows what they're doing or knows what they're talking about. Uh, or if they do, they're simply going to be taking shortcuts in your home. There's no question about it. You want to stay away from those guys. Um, the other thing that you want to make sure the electricians have is you want to make sure they're licensed. There has to be a master electrician who monitors and guides all the guys in the company and he, uh, on the correct installation and procedures, for uh, aluminum wiring connections. Uh, these fellows have what's called a safety permit. It calls from the safety, Electrical Safety Council. I'm not sure. They got the cards, but you'll see what it is that they have. Make them produce their cards. Make sure you can see it, that they are a, a licensed uh, master electrician. The master electrician is responsible for all of the work done by these guys. And so he's going to be very, very careful to make sure that these guys do it. You also want to deal with an electrician that is going to pull a permit with the city that you are in, be it the city of Calgary, Edmonton, or anywhere across North America. You want to make sure that they do pull a permit. If you're dealing with somebody that doesn't pull a permit or somebody who doesn't want to pull a permit, uh, it's a little bit sly because as electricians, if you, uh, what it comes down to simply, if you have an electrician working in your home, they must pull a permit according to city regulations. So if they're not going to pull one for you because you request them to do so or they request you not pull one, then it can be an issue. They may also ask you to pull one and then they'll come and do the work. That's not allowable under regulations at all either. So you want to make sure they have a master electrician and that they pull a permit and get a final approval on the work done in your home. You also want to make sure they have the proper insurance. If heavens help us all, if they came through your kitchen ceiling accidentally and somebody was hurt or there was extensive damage caused, you want them to have insurance that will cover that. You also want them to have workman's compensation. So again, if someone gets injured on the job, then you aren't going to be liable for it or anything like that. They will be covered by government insurance called workman's compensation. So you want to make sure that they have all of those things 
uh, all the appropriate licenses, all the appropriate insurances and workman's compensation before they come in to do the work on your home. And then you want to find out if they are working uh, with Illumicons and that if they have the proper torque screwdrivers to work with them. Okay. Now the guys that I have, the phone number that I have right here are guys that I vetted myself because I was in the business of doing this and I wanted to find good electricians that would do the work properly, correctly and so I would check them all out. So the phone number that you see right here is going to set you up with some guys and gals perhaps that will uh, set you straight. First of all they'll determine if you've got aluminum wiring and then they'll give you an estimate, a uh, free estimate as to how much it would cost to do it. Okay, so go ahead and give them the call. You're dealing with the best. Thank you very much.